How are we doing everyone? Just wanted to give you a little bit of information on the new upcoming ID Buzz. Um, myself and the guys here uh, have been given some information in regards to the, the upcoming vehicle and what it's going to have. Uh, but I'm going to let Kate from the marketing team um, show you what they've shown us so she can explain it a little bit more. And here it is, the long awaited ID Buzz. And when I say long awaited, I don't just mean a standard new product lead time. This is the successor to the T1 of the 1950s, a new iteration of an electric T2 prototype that was seen in 1972. Teased in the microbus, which was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 2001 and confirmed for production at Pebble Beach in 2017. And now in 2022, it's finally here. Despite that history, this is a thoroughly new and modern concept and people are falling in love with its cute looks and smiley face. The kind of attention this vehicle is getting from the public, from journalists, from friends and families is unprecedented, akin to when the new Mini or Beetle models were launched. But there's a lot more to this van than a pretty face. Based on the Volkswagen Group's MEB electric platform, it benefits from the learnings made so far and means it's very much part of the ID family. Key things of note are it combines maximum use of space on a minimal footprint. You can see how the wheels are situated to liberate that space with very short chassis overhangs. It's rear wheel drive and has a low centre of gravity with the batteries and motor under the floor, meaning excellent driving dynamics. At its heart, or rather at the rear, is an electric motor powered by an 82 kilowatt hour or 77 kilowatt net battery. It can produce 204 PS and 310 Newton meters of torque. For comparison, our 150 PS TDI produces 350 Newton meters. But in the electric version, all that power comes from the first touch of the pedal. Top speed is limited to 90 miles an hour, largely to protect its range, which is not yet confirmed, but will be significant and match or exceed the competition. Size-wise, it's about 20 centimeters longer than a Caddy Cargo and 20 centimetres shorter than a T6.1. And from a practical point of view for the van, the ID Buzz cargo will have around four metres cubed capacity compared with just over three for the Caddy cargo. Useful and beautiful. And the best is yet to come. The range will continue to grow after launch from a short wheelbase van and five seater car with new configurations, new batteries and new spec enhancements. Plus there will be an ID California camper van, but not before 2025. That said, given we've waited 20 years for this one, I think we can all be patient for a little bit longer. Revealed to the world at a virtual event on the 9th of March, we then plan to announce pricing in April prior to open for order around May, with first deliveries expected in October. Of course, there are other elements at play which are impacting production at the moment, but that's the plan. And we're working really hard on ways to keep hand racers interested in the meantime, separating those who just love it and those who really want to be one of the first to buy. I'm buzzing.